Don't judge me, man. I'm the strongest I There ain't no one as strong as I Cause I waited in the longest line For the longest time Now this moment's mine Put the plow down on the land See the calluses on my hand Take no sick days That's how I was raised Mama taught me how to be a man Taurus is celebrating the 10 year anniversary of the Taurus Judge. It's been extremely popular, uh, mainly because it shoots 410 and 45 long colt. And this can be a devastating self defense round, even though a lot of people buy this just for the novelty or just to be able to say, I own the Judge. <laughs> but one of the reasons why this was called the Judge is because a lot of judges, actual judges, would carry these into the courtroom for self-defense. Really when this is at its best is close up and personal. And this is a sight you don't want to see up close and personal. If nothing else, the Taurus Judge is an impressive looking firearm. I mean it's just massive. You know you're shooting 410, uh, also 45 Colt, and you know it has some recoil to it. And having something like this to be able to fit the shells in the cylinder is going to dictate a lot of the size of this pistol. The first thing we're going to do is make sure the gun is unloaded and we can see that it is. Uh, just a really massive cylinder. I mean, <laughs> it's a three inch and they do make models that are two and a half inch which make it a little bit smaller, kind of bring the size down somewhat. Uh, but with the three inch you have a lot of different options. Uh, it was one of the things when I reviewed the governor from Smith & Wesson. It comes with a two and a half inch uh, cylinder and I inadvertently while I was at the gun shop picking up ammo I picked up some three inch shells which I couldn't use but now uh, I'm going to put them to good use with the Taurus Judge. Uh, this one is in a stainless finish. Uh, they do make it also in a blued model. Uh, but before we get into all that, there's a lot of different models they make. But Taurus has been making these for over 10 years uh, and about a dozen different models uh, as far as barrel length, even uh, steel or alloy frames. And, uh, you know, it's just there's a lot of options. And this has been extremely popular. Uh, you know, a lot of us guys that, you know, deal in Smith & Wesson, Colt, <laughs> you know, the high dollar guns, um, you know, this or even some of the Rugers, the revolvers are pretty expensive. And sometimes Taurus is left uh, to be more of a budget minded pistol or a revolver. But these have been exceptionally well made and they've done very well uh, in sales. And there's a lot of guys. It's funny, I posted some pictures of the judge and the governor side by side and a lot of guys were uh, just talking about the Smith & Wesson governor. That's the only thing I'd have. But there were just as many judge owners that piped in that said that the Taurus judge has been nothing but excellent. I've really been looking forward to putting a review together for the Taurus judge because the Smith & Wesson governor was just so much fun. You know, these have never seriously appealed to me. I, I've really kind of wanted one just for kicks and having fun. Uh, but once I got a hold of the governor, I wanted a judge really bad. And, uh, you know, it's just a great full-size handgun. <laughs> I mean, it is just massive. And one of the things about that is with the 410 shells that are you know you can use in this, it gives you a lot of capability and a lot of confidence in an up-close encounter. Now, one of the things about the Taurus Judge, it is rifled, but it's rifled to make the spread really expand in a short distance uh, for your 410 shells. 
uh, whether it's buckshot, birdshot, or some of the specialty loads. And that's one of the things the Taurus Judge paved the way is a lot of gun manufacturers got on board and started making self-defense loads for the judge. Uh, and then, of course, the Smith & Wesson governor came in and was able to benefit from that. Now, this judge is all steel frame, and it does have a 3-inch barrel. That comes in a 2.5-inch barrel, and it comes in a 6-inch barrel. I believe it's a 6.5-inch. You can go to the Taurus website and look up all the different models. Uh, it comes in, of course, the blue, uh, and it even comes in what they call the Public Defender, which is a polymer frame with a really short barrel and a 2.5-inch cylinder. So it makes it a, a lot more compact. But now to get in some of the basic features of the pistol, it is a double single action pistol. And that means I can either cock the hammer back and fire it like this, or I can just take the trigger with the hammer down and just pull it and fire it. Uh, and because of that, there's no external safeties. You don't need an external safety. And that's the way that, um, you know, revolvers have been made, you know, from the beginning. Uh, there are a couple of safety features on this pistol though. The first safety is a transfer bar and you can see it coming up as you pull the hammer back. Uh, this is going to protect the firing pin from inadvertently going off in case the hammer is hit on something hard. If you happen to drop it or bump it, uh, it's not going to fire around unless the trigger is actually pulled into the rear position like you see. And here's the transfer bar and then it drops down immediately uh, when you uh, release the trigger. Uh, also right back here, and this is a lock, a safety lock, and uh, there's a little key and you can just lock this and it keeps the gun, it makes it inoperable. So if you have small children around or you just want to lock it to put it in a safe place, uh, you can do that and even have it loaded, unlock it and you're ready to go. Uh, right here we have the uh, latch for the cylinder and it just pushes forward. Uh, one of the things about this pistol, too, is it's a really well-finished uh, revolver. I mean, everything is very well done. It has a matte stainless finish, and it is a stainless steel gun. Uh, but even the blued revolvers, they have a very nice finish to it. Very smooth. Uh, they did extend the ejector to allow for those rounds to be able to come out pretty easily. The trigger has a nice polish to it, and the uh, cylinder latch and the hammer. has a little more of a sheen to it. Not really a high polish, but just a little more than the rest of the pistol, and it gives it a really nice look. The hammer is spurred, so when you get it, it's real positive action. Uh, the trigger, though, is smooth. And you'll notice that the sights are just a little notch, and then here at the front, you have a fiber optic rod. So that's really that really shows up great during the day. The ejector rod is covered, which most modern revolvers are. It does have a rubber grip on the back, and it has these little ribs. In fact, this is called by Taurus a ribber. <laughs> and uh, this is a recoil reducing uh, grip. It really good and solid. It feels good. The, the ribs kind of collapse in your hands to give you a little more uh, cushion, but it also gives you a really solid grip. And you have the Taurus logo right here at the bottom and on the other side. Uh, and then we have Taurus Judge laser etched right here in the barrel and it's not just the Taurus Judge, it's THE Judge. <laughs> and also the Taurus logo right here behind the cylinder on the frame. Now these are imported from Brazil and this one is made right here stamped onto the receiver made in Brazil. Now as far as trigger pull goes, the double action is typically heavy in any revolver, but it's real smooth. Um, nice solid break single action very crisp okay we're going to check trigger pull double action 10 pounds 4 ounces 10 pounds 3 ounces now let's check single action 4 pounds 14 ounces four pounds 10 ounces so both double and single action and again i was doing this beforehand to kind of test it out very consistent trigger pull now one of the big appeals of the taurus judge is that it can do different type ammunition and of course you can go with your 410 shells and you can go with two and a half inch you can go with three inch but you can also go with 45 colt and 45 colt is the round that won the west and a very powerful excellent round 
Um, in fact, I have a, a Blackhawk, Ruger Blackhawk that shoots 45 Colts, one of my favorite single action revolvers. Uh, and you can really work these loads up. Now with the Taurus, I probably wouldn't work these loads up too high, uh, but any of your factory ammunition will be fine. Um, but the three inch shells is definitely something that you can only use in the Taurus that you can't use in the Governor. Uh, and of course they're making a lot of different handgun loads. In fact, this 410 handgun federal premium ammunition, um, it is made specifically for the Taurus. And then we have the Hornady Critical Defense, and it is a slug with two round balls. And then we have the Winchester, and this is the PDX-1 410 Defender. I mean, this is, uh, in fact, it has discs, three discs, and then about 12 pellets. So there's a number of different type ammunitions that you can shoot through here. Uh, one of the things that I will warn you about, though, is if you're going with some of the standard 410 ammunition, that it's not as accurate. And I think that has a lot to do with the way this has been, the, the rifling has been designed to really open up those loads when they come out really quickly. Uh, and, but one of the things that Taurus says, uh, even on their website, is that this gun was made for 410 up close. So when you're shooting the 410 and you're getting out to 25 yards, you know, you're going to have some issues. Of course, you're shooting 410 out of a, a short barrel. Uh, but if you want better accuracy at a little bit longer distances, the 45 Colt will definitely take care of it. So in essence, what you have is a shotgun in a handgun form. And that really makes it devastating. Uh, when you have the number of rounds being able to come out in these specialty ammunitions specifically, it gives you a lot of advantages in a really tight, close uh, situation. We're going to try out a number of different 410 self-defense loads. I'm not going to get into a lot of the specifics here. We'll do something in a little bit later video because there's so many different types. But we're just going to start testing them out and see how they function. This is Federal Premium Handgun 410. It's a triple alt buck, five pellets. We're going to shoot it into the steel and see how it does. 10 yards, all five rounds, right here. One kind of came down a little bit, but these stayed in this general area. Now we're going to try the Hornady Critical Defense. Uh, this is a uh, slug, and it followed by two rounds of ball. That had quite a bit more kick to it. <laughs> Shot just a little bit high at 10 yards. I was aiming for about right here. Shot about four inches high. Uh, that would be a, a nasty wound right there. Now we're gonna try the Winchester PDX-1 410 Defender. Has three discs, 12 small BBs. Wow, that's definitely the most recoil out of all the others. The Winchester PDX-1 uh, again, shooting a little bit high toward the head, but definitely a lot more recoil, a three inch shell. Um, but both of those self defense loads shot high. But now I did notice their pellets here, here, and here. So most of the mass is up here, and then you're getting some stragglers down here on the low end. Now I just happen to have some old Federal. This is five shot, 410. Uh, it's actually 25 little BBs in here. So we're going to see how that does. And this is not necessarily made for a handgun. This is made for a shotgun. Okay, with 25 BBs, a lot of them are down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then we move it up here. We had some high. So two here. And then even on this plate here there's five on that plate. So it really did spread out and a lot of them actually just missed. But this is just like bird shot. We're gonna shoot the water jug with the Hornady Critical Defense. Oh yeah. <laughs> Using the same Hornady Critical Defense for the watermelon. <laughs> Oh yeah, baby! Now we're going for the pineapple with the Hornady Critical Defense. 
and nothing's too good for dull pineapple. <laughs> SpongeBob's house just got blown away. There are a number of different holster options out of the market. This is from Jackson Leatherwork. It's a custom holster. It actually made for the governor, but because it has the area for the barrel here, it just does real nice. Just a really good looking holster. Rubber Dummy thought he could hide behind the Batman mask. He didn't realize that Judd Dredd had come to town. I didn't have my GoPro on, so I didn't capture it, but this was at 10 yards. Just one solid jagged hole. It was shooting a little bit high. I was aiming for the center of the square. But uh, using HPR, 45 Colt ammunition, and uh, really clean stuff, easy to see targets. I was shooting a lot of federal bird shot uh, into this target and you can see it's just peppered all over. Even over here with the little hostage. No one's going to get out alive. Now here at the range there was a lot going on. I mean you had your different 410 loads, some for shotgun, some for a handgun, and then with the 45 Colt. And so there was just a lot of testing going on. We're going to do a lot more later on. This was just to kind of get a feel for the judge and what some of these loads were capable of. But this is definitely not an all-inclusive. Uh, one of the things that I did notice was when I was shooting the old Federal, uh, just the number five shot with the 25 BBs, uh, sometimes when I was trying to eject the rounds, they would get stuck. And I'd have to really bear down to get that loose. Uh, and it had high brass. Uh, so then when I put in some of the modern loads, um, you know, whether it was the Winchester or the Hornady or you know the other Federal, they just came right out without any trouble. Uh, maybe one would stick every once in a while. So that long ejector definitely is gonna help. Um, and then of course, this massive cylinder, I, I just can't get over it. This gun, uh, because it's all stainless steel, it has a nice weight to it. Uh, even with the really full uh, self-defense rounds, whether it was the PDX-1 uh, or the critical defense, they had a nice you know, kick to it, but it, you know, after shooting all those rounds, I mean, my hand, I, I mean, I feel like I've been shooting, but it's really comfortable. I mean, it wasn't bad at all. This gives you enough grip and enough cushion really to mitigate a lot of that recoil. You know, being able to get second, third follow-up shots really quickly, it was no problem. And I think a lot of that had to do with the, just being a steel, full steel pistol. I think if you're getting into some of the alloy frames or the polymer, uh, the recoil is going to definitely be more noticeable. The self-defense load seemed to be shooting a little high. Even the 45 Colt may have been just the way I was holding, you know, my sight picture. But I just really feel like it's shooting, you know, just a couple of inches high. Not a big deal, and um, probably get back a little bit. What I was really impressed with is with the critical defense and the PDX-1, uh, it was a really good, solid, tight group. Uh, with the Federal uh, handgun loads, it seemed to spread out just a little bit, about a five-inch group, and this was all at about 10 yards. Again, when we do some ammo tests with this, we'll get out to distances and see what we get. <coughs> I swallowed a dang bug. <laughs> now, one of the things about Taurus that's been legendary from the beginning is they have a lifetime warranty on their pistols. Also, one of the great things about Taurus is that when you buy a firearm, uh, you send a picture of the receipt to Taurus, and they will automatically give you a one-year membership to the NRA. And I think that's awesome that they support the NRA that strongly. Overall, it was a great day at the range. Didn't have any kind of problems or hiccups. I mean, the gun just cycled, uh, the cylinder turned, the hammer fell, and it was really enjoyable. Uh, I re honestly, you know, I could put confidence in carrying this uh, if it wasn't for the large size. And again, there are guys who can carry this. Me, for my size, you know, I'm not going to carry something this heavy. But this definitely would be great, again, for home defense or, you know, in your shop or even in your car. 
And some of the self-defense loads they're putting out would really give this maximum effectiveness. And of course, I wanted to bring out the governor to do a small comparison up front. We're going to do a more in-depth comparison coming up because I want an excuse to take both of them out to the range again. <laughs> but the governor, I, I love the governor. I mean, it is a really finely made piece. And of course, it's Smith & Wesson. Uh, Smith & Wesson really does a great job with their revolvers. And, of course, they've been making them for, you know, so many years. Uh, one of the things about the Governor is, is that it is a six round instead of a five round. So you've got a little more of an advantage with one more round count. And it's real easy to get your standard moon clips that have six rounds to shoot 45 ACP. And that's been one of the great things, you know, and of course here are the hollow points uh, in that. And then there are the two round moon clips and you can interchange with the two rounds you can put two rounds of 45 and then interchange it with shotgun rounds uh, the taurus judge because it is a five shot revolver has really been seriously lacking with moon clips because these have been used for years uh, even with some of the early world war one and world war ii revolvers but now they are making a five round moon clip. In fact, I've got some on order. They haven't come in yet. That will allow for the Taurus Judge to be able to shoot 45 ACP. But one of the huge advantages of the Taurus is price. And there's a lot of times where these run about the 425 up to $500 range, according if it's blued or stainless. Uh, in fact, I saw one place, it was $399 on special. And, uh, but the governor which actually is a little more difficult to get uh, the, the supplies they're they're in such demand they can be hard to find but they're running around the seven hundred dollar range and up so you know you get a considerable bit of difference between the price so yes the smith and wesson is a more finely finished pistol or revolver uh, but the taurus judge is going to come in that has really nice finish uh, but yet it's you know getting close to half the price so that is definitely something to consider. Because this revolver is so versatile, uh, you can put 410s intermixed with 45 Long Colt. So if you're on a hiking trip or you're camping or hunting, you can put in some uh, bird shot or snake shot and have that in those cylinders to get right to it. And then if you have something like a predator come up or you know you need to defend yourself, uh, you can use the 410, the self-defense loads or the 45 Colt. So there are just so many ways to load this, to use it for so many applications. And uh, my brother does a lot of kayaking, and I think this would be a great gun for him. So to celebrate the 10-year anniversary, Taurus got in touch with a few of the gun channel YouTubers for doing test and evaluation of the judge and to show its capability. And I want to thank Taurus for sending this judge for this evaluation and this review. Uh, it really makes it nice when the gun industry gets behind the YouTube gun channels. So Taurus is the judge, thumbs way up. Be strong, be of good courage. God bless America, long live the Republic. This day I'm the strong survive. Ain't no one as strong as I, as I. Waited in the longest line for the longest time. Now this moment's mine. Put the plow down on the land. See the calluses on the hand. Take no sick days. That's how I was raised. Mama taught me how to be a man. Sights. The sights are fixed at the rear, and it has just a uh, V. Oh, okay. The sights. The sights are fixed because that light just. And then a fiber. Then a fiber optic rod at the front, and these are very, very popular. <laughs> very popular. <laughs> we're gonna shoot this water jug with the Hornady. Now we're gonna try some of the Hornady. Now we're going to try the Hornady, Hornady, Hornady. Now we're going to try the Hornady, Hornady. Uh, but one of the things that he, and you can also take, uh, they were wanting to, now Taurus was really wanting to get, Taurus has really been wanting to get, 
He comes to judge, he comes to judge. They say don't judge a book by its cover. I think you can judge this revolver by its massive appearance. 